Hi guys, we're back in the museum. We are alone together. We're at home together. We're under quarantine still. Well, we're going on a, a month now because it started like in mid-March and now it's mid-April. Oh, near the end of April. It should be almost over, shouldn't it? Who knows? <laughs> But today we're looking at lunch boxes. Um, I have a I have a small lunch box collection, trying to trying to grow it. But I got a couple of lunch boxes, and some people have asked to see my lunch box collection, and it is part of our room tour. So I pulled out these ones right here, and I got some more on the shelves. I'm gonna show. You know, we'll just go through it, look at it, talk about them a little bit. We see the Dukes of Hazard. I won this one here on auction. I like the Dukes of Hazard from um from the eighties. A lot of people they talk bad about the Dukes of Hazard now because of the Dixie flag, but you know the, it was on top of the General Lee. But that was a part of the show, and it's all about what you make of it. I never saw them as a a racist group or nothing. You know, yeah, and that's when just what it was. When you're down south, you, you find that it doesn't mean the same thing to people out here. It, it, it just doesn't mean the same thing to them. Yeah, but I like the show. I like Bo and Luke Duke. I don't like it when they changed them over to uh, Cody and what, Lance? Or yeah, Lance? Co Lan Lance and Lance. Cody. Yeah. Lance and Cody. All right, that, those were some other cousins that came from <laughs> God knows where. But it was a good show. Yeah, you know, it was cheesy. It was stupid. It was far fetched. It was um. And you knew wrecked. exactly what was going to happen. They but. wrecked a lot of classic cars. Mm hmm I actually have two thermoses because this one has a hole. And when I ordered, when I bought it, the guy didn't say it had a hole. And I would complain about it. And he sent us another one, and it doesn't have a hole in it. But this one is actually the uh, paint job is a lot better. Yeah, the color is better. The other yeah. one is intact, but it's a little faded. Yeah, and I like the backside. You see everybody, Uncle Jesse, Boyne, Luke, and uh, uh, Boss Hog, and Daisy. You realize that he's jumping over the car from the wrong side. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's supposed to be sliding in the other direction. Yeah, <laughs> and Bo always... Um, Bo was the one that always drove. Luke never drove, hardly. Yeah, so see, he's even getting in the wrong side of the car then. Yeah. This is a little artist interpretation. Yeah, but the General Lee was the star of the show. Um, and then, you know, they just bought, put everybody else in it. Not necessarily, because that's what the uh, producers thought when they fired those two mm -hmm. and brought in uh, Lance and Cody, and then people stopped watching and they had to hire these two guys back. Yeah, well, the so, General <laughs> Lee was supposed, to, supposed be the star, to be the star, and people loved the General <laughs> Lee, but then they got to love Bo and Luke. Yes. So then it was like, well, you kind of need both. You need the General Lee and you need Bo and Luke. Yeah. You know, everybody else kind of, you know, kind of faded to the back. But yeah, that's the Dukes of Hazard. This is the um, original Ghostbusters right here. Filmation. Filmation. I found this at a thrift store. Um, the, the guy had a bunch for like $5. A uh, ton uh, of... A flea market. A flea market. Yes. Yeah, flea market. Um, and this one seller had a ton of lunch boxes for like 5 bucks, And this was, was one of the ones... Um, this is from the original comic book, not the, oh, well, cartoon, sorry. Yeah, it was a live action show in the 70s, mm -hmm. and that's where, um, that's where the Ghostbusters that everybody knows and loves originally came from, mm -hmm. and Filmation went back to script and made the cartoon, uh, based on their original property, and that's why... When Ghostbusters came out with their cartoon, they called themselves the, the real, real Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters, even though technically they're not. <laughs> <laughs> this one is the Cabbage Patch. I actually found it at Value Village for a dollar. I'm not a fan of the Cabbage Patch, but, you know, hey, it was a dollar and it came with the thermos. Yeah. Couldn't pass it up. So um, I got I got that one. It's not near and dear to my heart, but, you know, <laughs> again, it was a dollar. Sure. And, it, and, it, and it's in not too bad of a shape. It's, it's in decent shape. Transformers. 
Um, I'm going to upgrade this one into a tin at some point because I, I rather the tin lunch boxes than the plastic lunch boxes. And it does have uh, the thermos. And we'll go right here. I have a little, a little rotating shelf here. Uh, let's see, who is this? The Wizard of Oz. This one came from, I just told you about uh, going to a flea market and they had a bunch of lunch boxes. This one was in it. The Wizard of Oz. Plastic again. Um, nothing on the back. I would rather a tin lunch box at any time. But again, you know, five bucks. Then we have here Sesame Street. I really like that one. Yeah. Them walking in the rain. I like the tin ones because it seemed like on the tin ones you get both sides. Both sides have something. On the plastic ones, it seemed like they only did something on one side. And then it has stuff all along the edges. Let's see if I can turn it. The steel lunch boxes. See uh, how they took their time and they. The lithographs. Yeah. yeah, they painted on all sides. Now, this thermos does not match this lunchbox. That goes with the Sesame Street schoolroom uh, yeah. lunchbox, if I'm not mistaken, the thermos. Yeah, it doesn't go with this lunchbox. It came together, but it doesn't go together. Okay. We got the Care Bears. I love the Care Bears. Oh, oh that Easy. just fell. This shelf yeah. is like... Kinda... Well, one of the pegs came out. See, it's right here. We'll yeah. fix that in a minute. Let me help you. Yeah, I need help. And so David's here. Another steel lunchbox. We got the Care Bears going all the way around. I like the... You know, I'm not a huge fan of the Care Bears, but I, I like the... the the way the colors pop on that one. Yeah, and then on the back side, again, on the steel ones, you get a totally different picture sometimes on the back. On the plastic, they just put a little piece of uh, a sticker. sticky paper. Yeah. yeah. Stick, sticker on it, and it's only on one side most of the times. Um, with the steel one, you will get rust. So, I mean, you got that trade-off. You're going to get some rust and damages yeah, like that. Out. Yeah. There's your... Another Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. And here goes the. And again, this. This thermos, thermos is nice and bright. Yeah, it does not go with this lunchbox. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the therm the the lunchbox for this thermos where they're actually on the beach. Oh no, no, it, that no matches. yeah, it does match. It does match. Okay, because it is a lunchbox where they're on the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, I yeah, think that I've one seen does that one. match. So. And then we saw this one, the Ninja Turtle one. Yeah, and the turtle uh, tour that you did. Yeah, and I like the dome boxes better than the um, the square boxes. And I bought this one on eBay. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to find a lot um, when I can, and um, go ahead and spin this around. Get a few, but you, know, you don't always find a lot. There you go, Night Rider. He's, He's a little rusty. Yeah, um, that's one of the ones I got for five dollars. Oh, it crashed through a wall. <laughs> Kit, and the backside with the um, the director and the girl. I never remember her name. Nobody remembers anybody's name except for Michael, Michael Knight. Knight and Kit. And there's the Knight Two Thousand. Yeah. It didn't actually say that on Kit, but yeah. The thermos is pretty basic. Though. Yeah, plastic with the little sticker on it. You know, nothing spectacular. Garfield got that one in a lot. I think. I think that one came from the um, thrift store. Cause when I went to that uh, not thrift store flea market, mm -hmm. I got about eight of them. And they were all five bucks. Some of them were three, but they they came with the um, thermos. Some of them didn't. But um, I got those. Now, this was a good deal. Yeah. Somebody is, was sleeping on this one. This is kind of a grail. Yeah. Because this is... Uh, Brand new. Unplayed. Still with. got the paper in there. <laughs> Nobody put their lunch in that thing. It's not even rusted on the inside. No, there's no, there's no damage to it. It's practically perfect. Yeah, look at that. No damage to it whatsoever. 
Let me get it back. I love the Bernstein Bears. I used to uh, watch the show when I was a kid. I always liked them. Um, somebody was sleeping on this one because this can go up to three, four hundred bucks. I've seen, but this person, I don't know what yeah. they were doing. They put it on bids, and it wasn't on bids. I bought it. It was outright. wasn't it on bids? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. I bought it outright. Nobody noticed it then. Yeah, I guess not. Or they, you know, whatever. But I noticed it. This one, uh, she saw at a convention. We were actually yeah. at the Atlanta, the Atlanta yeah. Toy Show. Yeah. And they had some crazy price on it. And she wanted it but didn't get it because it was too expensive. And I got it for her somewhere else. Yeah. The McDonald's. McDonald's head. <laughs> <laughs> And that's my phone ringing. Yeah. Hopefully it'll stop. Yeah, I'll call them back. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's nobody. So. But we see somebody stole. I bet you it was the Hamburglar. Went into the, um, went into the safe. And then when you look at the... Uh, I see he's being lassoed yeah. right there. When you look at the, the steel boxes... It kind of tells a story. Yes. When you look around it, or you know, you look at all sides of it, you can see the little story that's being told. And on the plastic one, you just have the sticker, and that's all you have is the sticker. So you don't really get to see, you know, the full story that they're telling. And I, I like um, the nostalgia of the original McDonald's too. We don't this have one that was anymore. A good, this one was a good find. Oh yeah. I like this one. Yeah. You have all the different uh, characters, Mickey and Goofy, and mm -hmm. they're on a little fire truck. Look at them in the front. It travels around. Your phone. I know, right? You got all these <laughs> weird sounds. <laughs> it's just a cute lunchbox. I just yeah. really like that one. Back when Disney had that, when they said Magic Kingdom and it actually, there was a point to that terminology. Yeah. It's not like that anymore. Then on the back, you got your safety rules. Don't play with matches. Don't play with electrical cords. And don't play with the oven. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> this is a nice box. Yeah. Let me show the thermos. The thermos is a different shape. And these older thermoses, they're glass inside. And so it's, you don't always find them with, uh, with that glass intact. And I can show you here real quick so you see what I'm talking about. Because when they said thermal, they meant it. If you look down in there, yeah. you can see that it's, uh, you can hear it. Yeah. But those are often broken in some of these older thermoses. Yeah, and when you get a thermos, you want to make sure it has this um, cap. Yeah. It's on some of these caps, you have the little sip scroll. Yes. The little sip scroll thing. I so think you there's can, one on the McDonald's one. I can open that up real yeah, quick. Yeah, show. This is um, nice. But, you know, try and get the mugs. Oh, it's missing oh, that the cap. One doesn't have the cap at all. What the heck? Um, You know, if I find one that's like really good and it doesn't have the thermos, uh -huh. I'll get the thermos later. There you go. You know, because sometimes, hold on, sometimes you can find a thermos super cheap. Um... Yes. But if you find, or sometime you'll find a, a really good lunchbox. Turn, oh, turn all right, handle. all right. Sometime you'll find a really <laughs> good lunchbox, and then the uh, thermos is damaged. But you can, you can always, not always, but you can usually get a thermos super cheap in good shape. So, you know, get the lunchbox if it's a good deal, and just get the thermos later okay and then this one is the thundercats which this thermos here it's kind of fady but it's all right you know upgrade it That's later a popular box actually the thundercats yeah and then i have I had three Masters of the Universe lunch boxes. This one is the plastic one. You have the the mug or the thermos. And then the plastic lunch box. I showed you the metal lunch box. This one is plastic. So 
we got those and these are some I got over here the ones that I don't care so much for now this is a this is not That's this is cool. not with a lunchbox but it's the Kool-Aid pitcher thermos and I got this at Goodwill for like a dollar Oh, 99 cents. Cent. And it was blue, so. Uh, That's a, you know, a promo thing from like the 70s. Yeah. Then we got some glasses. From Disney. Care Bear glass I got from Goodwill. Yeah. I like the uh, glasses. And that's another thing that's faded away um, in the 80s. McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Burger King, a couple of other places used yeah. to sell c glasses, collectible glasses. You had everybody, Star Wars. 70s and 80s, they so mm -hmm. did that for a long time. That's right. This I got from that same thrift store. Um, I got I got it in, a, no I didn't, I'm sorry. I got a lot. That was in the box lot. Yeah, yeah it was in a box lot and you know, I, I just kept it. I don't I don't really care for it. I just kept it. And this strawberry shortcake was in that lot also. This is the... The other Dukes. Yeah, the other Dukes that has it one. The guy sent me to replace the one that has the hole in it. Um, but it didn't have a cap. But that's fine. I'm going to keep both of them. And then this is just a thermos. I took the cap off to put on another one that didn't have a cap. So I trade things around like that, you know, just to try to complete a set. Now, this is the only peanuts lunchbox I have. And it's a dome lunchbox. And I got this one. A lot no I didn't I got that one uh, it was super cheap this one does not have a oh. top but I can get a top I need a new thermos because as you can see the lithograph is all faded out plus this one doesn't go with this lunchbox anyway so that one can be upgraded but those uh those are fairly cheap you got this is another one that I really like. School bus lunchbox. It's similar to the fire truck in the dome and the people are on it. You got the school bus and you see everybody, Alice and Pinocchio and Dumby. Everybody's on there. Goofy. Not Goofy. Yeah, that is Goofy. He's driving. Yeah, that goes all the way around. Of yeah. Course. You know, and, and lunch boxes has faded away. People don't do lunch boxes anymore. Um, NECA tries every so often, and Funko does, but it doesn't come with uh, thermoses. No, it's not the same. Yeah. But if you look, you can find a lunch box nearly for everything that's out there. You know, and it just helps with that nostalgia, with the memories of everything. You know, this is where the majority of them are. You can show my lunchbox. Oh, yeah, David got, <laughs> oh, God, then he got it posted up. He got one little That's little the mini Fisher Price box. toy lunchbox. I actually had this when I was a kid. But mm -hmm. this, of course, this one is sealed. <laughs> Cracker Jack, I love this one because when I was a kid on Fridays, my dad would buy me packages of Cracker Jack every Friday. And I love Cracker Jack. That's when it used to come in a box. Yeah, now like it comes in a bag. Prizes pic pictured all around the edges. Yeah. And it used to come with a prize. Now I don't yeah. I don't think it comes with oh, a prize it shows anymore. You little, little things that could be in there. Yeah. You got all kinds of it little comes with tiny. Like a price. sticker or something. Yeah, that's what that's the lame prize. <laughs> yeah. You know. But I used to love Cracker Jack, and you know, and it's it's things like that. You know, when I saw it, I remembered. Hey, you know, every Friday, my dad used to buy us packages of uh, of uh, Cracker Jack. Like I said, it came in a box of three, and he would buy them for me every Friday. 
and you know that was just the nostalgia of it you saw that you remembered it it was a really good memory and um you know i try to surround my things with myself with good memories that's cool raggedy ann another good memory from childhood i had a raggedy ann doll and i have a picture of it one of my birthdays my mom got me a raggedy ann cake you know that's when they used to make cakes out of molds and then they would color it in with the frosting and i had one the cow <laughs> yeah but you know then they're ice skating raggedy ann and andy ice skating and Andy, I don't know what he doing looking all fruity, but you know. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then they hold oh, like their the hand. Cow. I forget the cow's name. Yeah, it was a little world. They had a yeah. bunch of people. They got the cow. He's spilling all the milk. Well, he is a rag doll. Yeah. This is Winnie the Pooh. I used to love Winnie the Pooh. This is from an episode when Winnie got uh stuck in rabbit's house and he was trying to get out and got stuck in the hole so everybody came to try to pull him out so it helps you remember the various episodes or the stories magic kingdom from disney world mm -hmm. in the mug now this is the older style thermos too yeah you see how the cup has like no handle mm -hmm. and this was uh an anniversary edition for the uh, 50th, 50 years of Disney <laughs> sold, the at, sold at the Disney World theme park in the 70s. Yeah, you can see that band at Disney World. Yeah, that automaton band. Yeah. Freak you out. Schoolhouse Rock. They actually did not make one during the uh, 70s and 80s. This one is by NECA. This is the only one I could find. If they made one in the 70s or 80s, I couldn't find it. But NECA has this one. I love Schoolhouse Rock. I'm just a Bill. That one was just, that whole, um, I guess, episode was, to me, was one of the best. I love Schoolhouse Rock. So, this is, um, again, it's a newer one. Um, metal. Metal ones, I think, are always better. The Woozles, Wuzzles. Wuzzles. Yeah. got that one from that same um, flea market for five bucks. I think I actually got all of them that they had. Yeah, I remember the show. The I don't morning. really remember the Wuzzles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. G.I. Joe, I'm not a G.I. Joe collector, but again, that one was in a lot and I got it. And, um, you know, it doesn't bother me to have it. I would rather a, a metal one, but you know, this works. DuckTales, love DuckTales, big fan of DuckTales. I used to watch that on the Disney after school. And this one is the dinosaurs, and I've talked about the dinosaurs before. That was a cartoon um, that oh, it was it live action. Yeah, a uh, lot well, live live action. Um, was in syndication in the 90s or the re real late 80s, early 90s. It came on like ABC or something. Yeah. Yeah, just a family of dinosaurs. And it was a stupid show, but it was <laughs> funny. It, it, it was very funny. It didn't last long. Well, the big novelty was that, of course, they were in, they were in costume. It was like watching The Muppet Show. Mm-hmm. And then Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yes. This one only, I think it only comes in plastic. I yeah, looked around. Pee Wee's er, is 90s. So. Yeah. So when you get the later ones from like the 90s, then they start coming in plastic. The earlier ones, 60s, 70s, some 80s, you get metal. Or even uh, 50s. But when you go back to 50s, you're looking at like Western shows mm -hmm. and... Zorro and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a NECA one. NECA again did the metal ones. And I think, you know, I would get the newer ones like this. I would get the newer ones like this. Um, if it's something that you couldn't find. From, yeah. Yeah. From the old days. And this is the metal Masters of the Universe one that I was telling you about. I ended up having two 
of the metal ones, one of the handles were broken. I got one in a lot, and then I bought another one um, from that flea market. Yeah. But it, and I ended up with three, so who knows. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is my lunchbox collection. It's a small collection, but it's good enough. It does what I needed to do. So, yeah, there's always room to grow. Yeah, I'm going to grow my lunchbox collection. <laughs> lunchboxes are cool yeah they lunchboxes are. are fun and it, it reaches back it's one of those things and that's it, it you know again what it's all about is the nostalgia and yeah. and reaching back and lunchboxes is one of those things that we experienced in childhood really it was a thing that went from the 50s all the way through to the very early 90s and then just kind of fell off yeah Kids just didn't bring lunch to school anymore and it, it's one of those one of those um things that is fading away yeah, like so many other things that um, we that with. we grew up with that children today are never experienced. Yeah. And we've talked about it before. Saturday morning cartoons, lunch boxes, reading the newspaper, yeah. comic strips in the newspaper. Or gumball machines. The, the, like the, yeah. I have a few gumball machines. Mm -hmm. Arcades. And, going yeah. to the arcade. Real arcades. Yeah. That's right. Even if you just went to the laundromat, they always had like a Pac-Man machine yeah. or something in there. Yeah. Now they got the claw machine, like stupid machine. And it's like two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Even playing with action figures is fading away. I mean, yeah. The action figures nowadays is an adult market thing. For, uh, at least half of it is for the adult market. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that we grew up with that are just kind of drifting off into the sunset. Mm -hmm. Lunch boxes is one of them. Yeah, lunch boxes is one of them, and I think because of that, um, it's drifted away. Neca, like I said, Neca tried to, I guess, do a comeback, but it didn't really pick up. So I don't think a lot of other companies want to dive too deep yeah, into it. Funko does it, and I saw their boxes, and like Funko had like the Star Wars lunch box, mm -hmm. and I looked at it, and I was like, that actually has kind of a '70s vibe to it. Mm -hmm. They did a good job on it. No thermos though. Yeah. But that's absolutely obviously for the adult collector's market, you mm -hmm. know, and it doesn't feel the same. And I mentioned that about action figures. Someone had pointed that out uh, about a comment I had made doing one of our tours when I was showing the Mezcos and stuff. It's like, yeah, I really like them, but they're more. Um, like little mannequins. They're more for display purposes or yeah. dioramas than for actual play. They're yeah. not really toys. And so it doesn't feel the same. Yeah. So that is the lunchbox collection. Let us know what you think. Do you have anything else? I don't think so. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Until next time.